The Middle Belt Brain Trust delegation, led by the former Defense Minister Martin Luther Agoy, received by the State Governor Samuel Otom. They are on a peace-building mission with a plan to meet with critical stakeholders to understand the dynamics and develop local peace stability processes. Our main purpose is to work with the grassroots, from the grassroots, to listen to people. What are the drivers of the conflict? What are the dynamics? What are the patterns that they take? And then we sit down, the governor will not have time to go around the, down the grassroots to know everything, but we will try to do that. We will now find solution. What do the people on the ground feel is the best solution to solve this? And then we we'll bring it up to governor and dialogue with the government and then present our recommendation. Government has other sources. So they will look through what we have done that is well, they may accept. What they think they can modify to achieve what they want, they will modify it and achieve what they want. But our main aim is to see that we have a society, uh, we have an, uh, people, we have communities that can live in harmony with each other. And as His Excellency said, there can never be development without peace. So if we have peace, we can develop much faster. You have come for a genuine cause and uh, we deeply appreciate this. In Benno State, we have no peace. There is no peace in Benno State. If anybody tells you that, it's a liar. There is a challenge. And from 2010, we started experiencing this because of some people who feel that Benue states and other parts of Nigeria should not know peace. So I'm happy that you're here. Uh, you have always been a man of peace and no wonder God has blessed you. The chief security officer of the state was particularly worried about the poor handling of security issues that have led to the continued killings and displacements of his people. I have more than 1.5 million IDPs lying in the camps. When you were coming here from Lafayette to Makodi, you saw them. That is just part of what we have. We have eight camps in Benue State that are holding IDPs. Those people you saw are people who could not take shelter from their shelter from their relatives. There are people who have nowhere to go. Their children are there. Some have four wives with 20 children. They are living there. And evil people go there to seduce our girls in those camps in the night. These are the pains I have. So when people talk that, someone will tell should not talk. In the midst of this injustice that is going on, I said to hell with them. I am governor. So if I don't talk, who will talk for these people who are living in pain? It rained yesterday night. At least you, to, to you that came here, you sleep in the comfort of various and wherever you found shelter. Those who were sleeping in the rains, in make of tent. I am governor. How do you want me to feel? How can I sleep? How can I eat in my comfort? I have limitation. Since 2018, I've been paying salaries, but after that, I can't do any other thing. Even to feed these IDPs, I've been depending on people. I commend the River State Governor, I quite want Governor, my Taraba counterpart, who felt that what this man is passing through, they sent support to help me. And faith-based organization, the Roman Catholic Church, the PFN, and other churches, they've been coming to our ends. Even the Muslim community, they came to support. Go and check what federal government has given us since this problem has started. Other states that have similar problems, see what they sent to them. But here, they've allowed us to starve. At least, I see, I'm still breathing now as you talk about the plight of my people. I feel very pained. And instead of addressing issues that are raised here in Benue State as governor of Benue State, what result do I get? One, they have banned me from seeing Mr. President. 
Ketsi, or people who are from Benue State and have been whatever, who are ministers, who enjoyed position in government, Ketsi of the people, and they have used that to stop me from even seeing Mr. President. And they are happy. There are people who are suffering here. When they come here, they come with armored tanks, come with military and police and other security men from Abuja so that they will not be harmed. So I don't understand the kind of country, whether there is leadership in this country. This country has failed. The leadership is performing 20% by my own assessment, and that is below average. How can we continue in this manner? He took a swipe. At indigents in authority who he says are working against the interests of the state and its people. Recently, they collected money and Professor Nge was part of it. Did a press conference and told lies about me and my people that we have guns. If we have guns, how can we be having 1.5 million? I have refused to be part of raising a militia. I would have done it, but two wrongs cannot make a right. Mr. President accused me the other day of having 6,000 militia. Where are they? Ask the security men in Benway State today. Ask him, where are the 6,000 militia? Are they in his village? Or in the village of uh, his boss, the minister, who they are conspiring to wipe away Tivland because of their meat ticket. I'm not part of you. Now, there's nothing you can do. I'm governor of Benue State. The people have elected me. You didn't want it, but the people elected me. And I stand to defend them, at least my people. And I stand to say that this government must bring justice to our people if they don't do that. What is happening in Nigeria, there's no way we can stop it. Governor Tom, however, appealed to agitators across the country to fight for their rights peacefully. For all the people, and that is why I keep talking to my brothers and sisters, the youths all over the country, there is no need destroying government property. No need interfering in the democratic structure. There is no better government than democracy. Let us dialogue. Let us stand firm. Let us speak out for the truth. Let us say whatever it is right, because the Bible says that you shall know the truth and the truth will set you free. As long as we continue to conceal the truth. Dauphin Aga. Thanks for checking out Symphony on YouTube. Please be sure to subscribe and like our videos for updates.